Well, I think Canadians are interested. They're interested in other Canadians. And they're interested in things that make them feel good about themselves. Whether it's about a guy who's living rough under the Garden Expressway, or whether it's about someone like Conrad Black, it's intrinsically interesting to us. And once it, once it becomes available, like once the, the powers that be who own the media outlets deem this stuff worthy of the same push it gives to, you know, Harry Potter or something like that, if there was an actual reason why they didn't value Canadian stories, it might be that we didn't do them very well. In Canada, we don't get up to the plate because there's such a lot of pressure from the business mentality and also from the expectations of Canadians. And in a, in a lot of way, we're bucking up against the previous generation that just discounted pretty much anything that had Canadian on it was considered like in the old days, anything that had Japanese on it's gonna fall apart when you get it home. Now, in today's world, there's like millions of Canadians that didn't grow up here. Their dads didn't grow up here. They see things that aren't like America, so they like it. And uh, it, it's kind of, it's half up to us to be pushing, I think it's always the responsibility of the artist to come up with material that's going to be interesting to a wide variety of Canadians and other people, of course, after that. But the Canadians first, this is our audience. And there's enough people, 30 million or whatever plus, that you can do very well if you just appeal to them. But if you're, always, if you're specific enough, you gain universality. There are people out there that especially want Canadian and are resentful of the fact that the Canadian stuff isn't made more available to them. We have to motivate people to want to buy Canadian or to want to see the Canadian stories done well, done in such a way that it doesn't look like American, it doesn't look like British, it's just what it is. They should be calling up these big box stars which are owned by Americans and they're playing the safe the safe lines and what they're putting on their shelves for people who are casual buyers.